So this is a home harvest where a hive that I bought off of uh, Amazon Prime. Um, I also bought an additional uh, box that you can get, which would give me uh, three boxes. But uh, so I've already put one of these together. And uh, this video is going to show basically how easy it is. Or the two things you're gonna to need to put this together, uh, a screw gun with a Phillips bit will make it much faster. And you're also gonna need a Phillips screwdriver. There was a couple of screws I couldn't get deep enough. The easiest way to do this is to unbox everything and put it in order on the floor according to the number that stands on each piece. And the reason why you want to do it that way is because everything is assembled in order of the numbers. And you're going to have to excuse my phone blowing up, the fact that I just come in from working outside. So this is a number 12. Number 8, two fives, There will be a package of screws with three different lengths and also some instructions. So these are the instructions. It's pretty simple. There's only uh, 10 steps to assemble this. So it gives you uh, the count of each screws A, B, and C. It gives you the number of each piece you're supposed to have. It's all here. I've already done this once and it tells you what to do. So the first thing you're supposed to do um, let me actually clear, clear something up. All of this screws together, and that's all that you need, are the screws. But when I built the first one, I actually took and glued each piece also for extra strength and rigidity. It's entirely up to you if you want to do that, but I'm using Gorilla Wood Glue. But uh, So the first thing you do is you put the screws on, or the legs, on the bottom board. It takes four of the longer screws, A. I think this is pretty simple. Um, because I'm gluing it, I also pulled the bottom board out. Just kind of lay it to the side. And basically what I did is run glue along here. These are the screws that you'll need the longer screwdriver for. Um, my screw gun bit just simply ain't long enough. So the final tightening of these screws are done by hand. One thing you're going to want if you're using glue is a paper towel to clean up any excess. I forgot to get any excesses on the sides. Can now be wiped off. Any that gets on the floor, etc. Okay. Now that I've got that done, stick the bottom board back in it. Oops, goes in from the other end. All right. Next thing it's going to have you do is put the boxes together. It uses the package of C's because there's so many screws. All right, so the way that this goes together, you're gonna notice that there are four of the number fives, two of the sixes, and two of the fours. Well, that must mean that it takes a four or six. You can see it's got the ridges for your top bars and two fives. Now the fives, let me see if I can get this in frame. The way that the fives are done, 
you can kind of see that there's forms like a handle so you want the edge of that handle the sharpest edge to be toward the bottom same way with the other one so the sharpest edge toward the bottom so once you got that laid out, it's just a matter of gluing these up. Now one thing you have to watch when you glue the front piece is the front piece also has your viewing window. So you probably want to take this piece out before you glue it up because if you just glued it up here, you would also be gluing that cover on. So see if you take it out, now you only put glue to those surfaces. So I think it's easier to just take it out. The glue, basically what I did, right down along the edge. Alright, so this in here, all you want to make sure is that the grooves on the back align with the grooves on the top. So you can see here in the top, that's where your rails go. I'll go ahead and put this on here. Put these rails in. So nine rails per box. The second box goes together the exact same way as the first one. have to put uh, it didn't come with but you probably should line your top bars with beeswax I need to look at the instructions real quick so now you're actually building uh, your quilt box you put the four sides together which is pieces eight and nine first so I didn't really, I run out of room, so these aren't really in the right order. But I'm going to need the quilt box. 
in the eights and the nines. Now you're going to notice that, so here's your quilt. These are the eights and nines. You're going to notice that the nines have an extra dowel on the top. You need to make sure that that extra dowel on both nines is both facing up. So I'm just going to lay it here so you can kind of see. These are the eights. There's not really any direction they go. Again, I'm going to glue them first. Make sure the glue is off, any excess. All right, so next, put your quilt box on and then actually put the quilt on there. Now before you do, you're gonna notice that there are some screws, holes. So it actually goes so that the wood part faces in when you assemble it and then you'll go back and fix it and there's going to be four holes on the same side where the pins are at you use the same four screws now notice I didn't glue this one um, Now flip that over. This is how it would sit actually on the assembly. All right, so next you're going to assemble the roof. You need the two end pieces in the sides, which are these uh, 11 and 12s. Again, I'm going to glue them. Um, so, before you glue this part, realize you're only going to go from the screw hole to the screw hole. So, the very top, this part up here, you're not going to glue. Just screw hole to screw hole. The reason being is when you put this on, you'll see that it doesn't fill the whole area there. Alright, so I'm not even sure where this kicked off, but um, so I've done the base, the feet on the base, the two boxes, the quilt box, and now I'm working on the top. If, uh, if it left out too much or anything that I think is important, I will let you know. These seriously go together like so quickly. I think anybody could put these together. box goes on the top.
Now we're going to start putting the roof together. Which is only three pieces. You have the two sides. You need to make sure that these go on correctly. So that when it's on there that it's going to shed the water down. Something like that. I'm going to glue these though before I put them on. Finally, the last piece, which I know takes the longer screw, um, it's got a V-shape to it on the bottom. That's the part that goes toward the roof. It's also the part I'm going to glue. That's all there is to it. Make sure that there's any glue, excess, wiped off. Piece of cake.